Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make videos on illustration and arty stuff. If you're interested in those kind of things, please follow and subscribe and join me on this little journey. But as you can see, I'm wearing glasses. If you don't watch this videos, you don't know I don't normally wear glasses, but it feels really strange. I'm gonna be doing this video on blue light filtering glasses. And I'm gonna be seeing if they help with headaches, sleep, and all of those things because I spend too much time in front of a screen. I have an embarrassing amount of screen time cranked up on my phone. When I'm drawing, I draw onto my iPad. When I'm editing, I edit on Photoshop on my Mac or my um, laptop. So basically I spend loads of time in front of a screen. But admittedly, before getting these, I didn't know that you actually get most of your blue light filtering Blue light filtering. You get most blue light into your eyes by just being outside in sunlight. So you actually get more blue light that way. And although for the last six months actually, I've kept my phone on night mode even during the day so that it kind of filters the blue light out of the screen. But obviously it's been doing nothing because I've still been on my iPad, I've still been on my Mac and I've just been outside. So I'm gonna see how blue light filtering glasses work. So I don't normally wear glasses, prescription glasses. So it does feel strange to have them on. I feel like my head is quite um, wide. I have a very wide head, wide face shape, and like a wide nose. I don't know if I really suit glasses. They do look nicer on the Instagram models, obviously, than they look on me, so don't judge the glasses by my head. But they are very comfortable, and they look quite nice, I think. Like they're very reflective. They do make my head look wide, but every pair of glasses in my life that I've ever tried on does that. But yeah, they're really comfy and they actually feel normal. I thought they might, like the world might be a bit wibbly because obviously I don't wear glasses. I didn't know if they'd impact normal vision, but they don't. They're completely clear and it just feels like you're wearing normal, like you're wearing completely clear glasses. So I'm gonna give these a go for seven days and I'm gonna update you and let you know my thoughts on if they help with my sleep, my headaches and all of those kind of things. So let's go. So the blue light filtering glasses I got are by a company called TIJN or Tyne, I'm not sure how they're pronounced. They very kindly reached out to me and asked if I would like to try some and of course I said yes because I spend so much time in front of a computer and I've been interested in these for a long time. I chose the gold Henk style so those are the ones I got and I also got a pair of sunglasses. I will link the ones I got in the description, but no one has told me to make this video and all of these views are completely my own. In the box you also get this little thing here, so if you post a photo of you wearing their glasses on Instagram they give you $12 off, which is really nice. And also this little glass cleaning cloth that says life is art and I thought that was really cute. And I just love the cases they come in, they look so nice. And just a little thing here, just saying that they are blue light filtering glasses gold colour looks so nice in person. I looked for ages online at different styles on their Instagram page to decide which style to go for and I went for the gold hank and I'm very happy that I did. So I'm just sorting out my room and everything in it and I've got a lot of boxes from Amazon because I'm planning to open up my Etsy shop and I've actually been investing in a lot of packaging and all of that malarkey and I'm just looking for a printer at the moment but I don't know where to put this stuff, I'm just going to plan to eat it. When you see me in the next video, you're probably going to see me like five times the size of what I am now. So for those that don't know, since September I've been working in a school alongside my illustration work, just to assist me, you know, 2020 was a tough year. But I've actually been really enjoying it, I've been loving working with the kids, I get a lot of enjoyment from that, and just getting out of these four walls has been really helpful. But I am mind blown at how generous and lovely like, the parents and the kids were, because I have so many chocolates and I am enjoying it thoroughly so yeah look at this um there's more that's not even all in shot um i am very excited to open these ones up but yeah definitely going to be quadruple the size of the next month but i'm i'm i'll take it i'll take it i don't care it's, i'm enjoying this chocolate I actually like I'm getting used to wearing these like just around the house at the moment like, I'm going out to Hobbycraft in a minute to collect an order but it is only day one and they're kind of comfy I get used to them I think I could get used to this glasses thing who knows maybe one day I will need glasses everyone in my family has glasses I'm the only one that doesn't need them so I may need prescription glasses at some point but I'm actually like I'm quite they're quite comfy they feel very good <laughs> And actually they do feel very normal. When I lift them up, I can tell they have a filter because my room is very white and I'm getting a, it's very bright in here. Like I've actually got my blinds um, shut because of how bright it is. But 
when I lift them off like I can tell there's a slight filter but for the most part they're really really um clear so um yeah so it was quite strange wearing my glasses out and about and I have a whole new found appreciation for my mum and everybody else that has to wear glasses all the time because when you wear glasses and a mask, your mask, your mask steams up, your glasses steam up so quickly. So my mum works long hour shifts in her glasses so if anyone has any tips on wearing glasses and a mask, please pop those below. But we went to Hobbycraft to click and collect an order I've got for my packaging and I bought this little puncher which rounds off corners of prints which I really liked. I saw people doing that online and in art fairs and I also bought some Cricut sticker paper and some Do Not Bend stickers and some tissue paper just for packaging up my artwork. So I quickly wanted to pop on here because I also got a pair of sunglasses from T-I-J-N or Tyne. Um, I'm not, still not sure how they're pronounced. But I'm really excited about these because the only other pair of sunglasses I've had, I bought 10 years ago from Marks and Spencers. They're chunky, they're not the most like aesthetically pleasing ones, but they work and I'm someone that just doesn't really think of buying something new if I have something that does the job. But they've sent me a pair of these ones. I'll show you which ones I chose. They are the Make ones, again, I'm gonna put the links down below because I don't know how to pronounce these words, but, oh my goodness, they're so nice. I'm like, fingers crossed we get a nicer summer to be able to wear these and get outside this year, but I'm so excited by them. So I just wanted to quickly pop on and show you these. Again, my face is not the best for modeling glasses, but they are really, really nice and I'm so excited to get some use out of them this year but now back to the blue lights and I'm gonna go back to researching some printers and hopefully buying one and then just getting on with my day but let's go day two so it's day four and I am gonna be spending all day editing some work and just planning the shop that I'm gonna be opening so I have some feedback I'm waiting for so if that comes in I might be working on that but if not I'll be working on this piece and just doing some planning and honestly um, both are staring at the computer screen but I will show you what I'm doing at the moment. York scent. Um, I'm trying just to get the colours right on that because I want to open up my online shop and have it as a mixture of travel prints, art prints, I think like some travel like explorer theme running along it because I just that's what I'm interested in drawing and then I have lots of plant prints too and I want to make some stickers so after this I'm going to be planning some stickers I have a few drawings that I'm thinking of adapting but I'm going to be planning some stickers for the shop and I'm probably going to be doing those all on my iPad so I might get cozy later in bed with my iPad and do some stickers in the evening um yeah but for now I'm just going to be working on this yeah <laughs> So I didn't record day 5 as there wasn't that much more to say but I have noticed the time I appreciate wearing these the most is in front of my computer. The screen does normally make my eyes ache so much and I just don't get that eye strain when I'm wearing these so that is my main takeaway at the moment. Today is day 6 of wearing my glasses every day. Last night I went to bed at 10 o'clock. Usually when I'm working at the school, I go to bed at half 10 and I wake up at 10 to seven. Last night I went to bed at 10 o'clock just cause I was so tired. Put my phone down, took the glasses off, went to sleep at 10 and I didn't wake up. Usually I wake up by like, like a routine really every few hours, every at least two or four hours I wake up. And sometimes I can go straight back to sleep again like that but sometimes I can't. And last night I literally fell asleep at 10 and I woke up at eight did not wake up once in the night. So I think I got about, maybe slightly under, but about 10 hours sleep, which is amazing for me. And I'm really happy about it. And if it has anything to do with the glasses, then that is a major plus for me. I've noticed a few less headaches. I haven't had such a strong headache after working. My eyes, especially, the main thing I have noticed is obviously the slightly improved sleep now and the eye pain. So I always get slight headaches with work. I have still had slight headaches. They have been not as bad as last week, but it's very hard to tell week by week. But I have had a lot less eye pain. My eyes have not been feeling as heavy and I've sleep 
and I've slept and I have slept, it doesn't sound like I've slept better, and I have slept better. So I'm very happy with that. I take that as a big improvement and it's nearing the end of the week. So yeah, let's go on to day seven, but I'm very happy. Hello, it is day seven of wearing my blue light filtering glasses and I thought I would pop on and give my final conclusion. And yeah, it's really positive. I really like them. And I'm not just saying that that is completely honest. Like, you will see me wearing these in future videos. I'm definitely gonna keep wearing them when I work on my computer and when I'm looking at my phone at night. Cause I actually think that was probably what was causing me um, bad sleep and headaches. But I've had a lot less eye pain. That sounds weird, but eyelid pain is the only way I can describe it. Like my eyelids hurt and they feel heavy. And I haven't had that this week using these. So that's a massive positive for me. Obviously it's only been a week, so everything could be coincidental and I will keep you updated in future videos because I will be continuing to wear them when I work so yeah really positive I really like them and I'm quite excited by them actually and I'm also more used to wearing them they feel really comfy now like it doesn't really feel like any different but I will keep you updated because I understand a week really isn't that long so obviously I'll keep you updated and keep wearing these in future videos when I'm working and I will let you know my opinions and vlogs and all of that if you are interested in seeing my studio that I'm currently building in my little bedroom and starting my shop and all of that stuff then please subscribe and join me if you like art videos or want to see that kind of stuff then I'd be really happy to have you on my little YouTube journey and if you did like this video please give it a like any comments you can pop in the comment bar if you want to talk about this do you wear blue fil like fil do you wear blue light filtering glasses do you want to do you like the idea of them do you not really like the idea of them let's have a little chat about it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.